Welcome to Camden Town Station. On a busy Saturday, there can only be one thing, it's time to go to Camden Market. In this video, we're gonna show you around the market. We're gonna show you how to get there and also some of the great places you can go to that you might miss. And I'll tell you, we found some great places and some great things that you can get here at Camden Market. Now, as you cut the main road towards Camden Market, you can easily get distracted with all the various shops selling various souvenirs. But you want to have a look, you want to take some photos of some great buildings, which are going to show you on the way up here, some great things to see. But you do want to head up to Camden Market around by Camden Lock, because that's where the real gem is. Getting to Camden's quite easy. You can do that on the Northern Line and get off at Camden Town Station as we showed you. Just be aware if you've got push chairs or coming in a wheelchair, etc., access is really not that great. Now, as you walk down the street, you wanna do what I always say, which is look up. Because if you look up on the buildings, not only are they decorated, but some of them, they've got some things sticking out. As you can see just ahead, shoes. Camden is a massive attraction and it doesn't really matter when you come down here, it's busy. So just be aware of that when you are coming down this way. Now, if you saw all these cargo containers as we came up on the right hand side and you're looking at them here, they're all restaurants. So that's a great place to eat. But I'd suggest you wait until you get to Camden Market itself where you've got so much different choice. Here you've got an oversized shoe sticking out and also an elephant head and it's like that all the way down here all the way to the market. The art on the shops is on both sides of the road and the ideal way to catch up both of these is walk right down the middle of Camden High Street but I wouldn't recommend it because as you can see there's lots of traffic going that way so just be careful when you are taking your video or you're taking your photos. Now Camden is alive all the way through the week, but the real time it opens and it really buzzes is without doubt over the weekend. So if you really want to experience Camden in full, I can't recommend highly enough you do it at that time, come on a Saturday or a Sunday. Now, if you're thinking of coming up here and thinking, how much time do I need to spend? I would suggest come up here early and spend most of the day up here in Camden because there is so much to do and see as we will show you. And we haven't covered absolutely everywhere in this video, but we've covered many places that we found, which we thought we've got to recommend these to you. The building with the dragon on it, you can eat as much as you like in there for £9.80, which might sound tempting, but hold fire. You've got the market and you've got so many street food vendors down there to see yet. And we're getting closer because the bridge is coming upon us. Yep, there it is, Camden Lock Bridge. If you're a regular watcher of our channel, you will have seen some of Camden Market already on the walk that we did, which went from King's Cross all the way through to Regent's Park along the Regent's Canal, which we'll see again in a couple of seconds. So I'll put a link to that video up in the top right hand corner, because that's another great way to get here at Camden Market. Other great ways to get here are by bike, as demonstrated above, and also another great way to get here is by London bus. And you can get the bus, the 27, and also the 31. There's other ones as well, and they come right up Camden High Street to here as well. Right, we're gonna go over the bridge, and let's go and have a look at the Regent's Canal, because this has got to be a really picturesque part of Camden Market. On a beautiful sunny day like this, there is no greater place to be in Camden than here. And also, if you're really lucky as we were when we came down here to film, you can watch the boats going in the locks as well. The best place to view is the arch bridge that goes across the canal. And that's where we're gonna take our next shots from, looking down on the lock. Can you imagine you've had your boat on this canal? You feel a bit of a film star, wouldn't you, as you're going around? Look at all the people lined up on the fences and also the bridge just at the back there, just watching the boat go through the lock. As the boat comes out of the lock, 
Just look how agile this lady is as she's walking down the side. I wonder how many times she's actually fallen off and got in the water. Yeah, doesn't bear thinking about. Right, it's time to go and investigate the market and see what that has on offer if you're coming down here to Camden Market. Right, as we do, let's go and we go further on over the bridge and into the market area. Now this area here is where the Regent's Canal water bus moors up. So if you're thinking about getting the water bus, which takes you from here all the way to Little Venice, and it's about a 45 minute trip and is well worth doing, and we'll have a video coming up on that later in the year, then this is where you get it from. And as you can see, when you moor up, you have one heck of a selection of street food to choose from. The thing I like about this area, although it's busy, is there's something for everyone. So if someone fancies something and someone fancies something slightly different, everyone can be kept happy just coming to these street food vendors. How posh is this? Fish, chips and calamari. Right, we've seen how to get there. We've seen some of the street food vendors. We're gonna see some more of those a little bit later as well. Let's come and have a look and see what they've got on offer, what you can get down here at Camden Market. Now, it's very easy to get lost unless you've got a good sense of direction because there's lots of alleyways and lots of stalls put in the alleyways as well. So whichever way you turn, there's always something around to look at. Basically, if you've got small children with you, keep hold on to them tight because it's very easy to get lost if someone goes wandering off. Now, because it's local traders, you've got bespoke items being sold here. Anything from clothing, which you'll see a lot of, and to arts and crafts, and also records, which Jaden was extremely pleased to find. Now, these igloos you can see are a great idea, and these are open to anyone to come into to sit down, have your food, and also have your drink whilst also keeping dry. And you're going to see these scattered all around the Camden Market area. So if you get your food and it's not a particularly nice day or you're looking for somewhere to sit, it's an ideal place. And in answer to your question, you're thinking, no, there is no charge at all to go in and use them. Whilst we have a good look round and show you what's here, let's tell you a bit about Camden Lock Market. Now, it actually started trading in the early 1970s when the canal trade had ceased and a northern urban motorway was planned that would cut through the site. In 1974, a temporary market was put here. By 1976, when the plans for the motorway were abandoned, the market had become a well-known feature here in Camden Town. Originally, the idea for the market was a market for crafts occupying some of the outdoor areas by the canal and some of the various existing buildings. Whilst you've seen some of the market stores outside, there are some areas like here at Market Hall where there's a lot of indoor market areas and these typically are the ones that are open all week long. And as you can see here, there really are different stalls for everyone of all different types and tastes. You can call it retro, vintage or just second hand, but the market does have a great deal of different stalls dealing in these sorts of things, including this camera one. This stall we're approaching certainly caught Jaden's eye with the Harry style tote bags. The market building we're in now was built and opened in 1991. It's built on the site of the first outdoor market and built in the style of traditional 19th century industrial architecture and housing in the area. And you can see that from these pillars that are holding the whole building up. Now I said that this is a busy area to come to and they reckon about a quarter of a million people come to Camden Town 
each week, most of them being on a Saturday and Sunday. One thing also to be really aware of, that some of the storeholders do get twitchy when you're walking around with either a video camera or camera just taking photos of their stuff. Um, they do get a little bit twitchy, so just be aware of that. But I always find when you're filming a sweet smile and you can get away with murder. Now when Jaden and I came to the market and were doing the filming, we picked up quite a lot of souvenirs to bring home for the rest of the family. So it's not that expensive here, just shop around and decide what you like and you can always ask them if they can do a bargain on the stores. Right, we've had a look down in the basement here in the market stores, let's go upstairs and have a look around as well. And you can see the beautiful colouring detail on all of the ironwork here. Now this video has been requested for some time so we needed to take the Saturday to come down here and film. So I hope you're enjoying it. And if you are, give us a big thumbs up, will you? So we can share this with more people to love London as well on YouTube. I think some of the artwork on display here is incredible. And these are artwork all drawn on individual tiles. You can certainly see second-hand cameras seem to be the order of the day. As you can see with the paintings on this door, there's so many different souvenir bits that you could take home. This building opened as Dingwalls in 1973 and was known as a premier music venue here in Camden with a capacity of 500. The name had to be changed due to copyright issues. It's called the Powerhouse, but it still has live music. And speaking of music, how about those for clocks? Right, a word of warning for you, because learn from the best, because I've done this myself. So when you're busy looking around at all the different stores and all the different things you can buy, your mind is completely taken away from what's going on around you, especially what's under your feet. And as you move into different areas, there's lots of different steps. So just watch out and don't do what I did and make a complete fool of yourself and trip over in front of everyone. Yep, just saying on behalf of a friend. The great thing also, if you want to get some great photos of the area, there's some brilliant vantage points. And there you can see the canal bus in, ready to take the passengers off to Little Venice. The views also just give you an idea of how busy it is as well. So one to be warned of. Right, let's go down to the famous Camden Lock Bridge. And now let's go and look at some of the food venues because down in this area here, you've got all different street food areas. Now you saw them over by the uh, canal before, but all of these little market stalls underneath the arches of the railway bridge are all different types of food types you can get. So once again, it really does cater for everyone. Once again, this is an extremely busy area because it's very small to get underneath the arches to go to the other markets as well. So just be warned around here, it is busy. Also, here's a tip for you. If you're walking around this area at quieter times, quite often they give away free samples for you to try their food and hopefully lure you in to buy a main meal from them. It's a very common tactic and so often works as well. Right, we're now gonna fight our way through the food area to come out the other side to show you some other great parts of the market which we haven't covered off yet. Right. 
Right, we're going to go down another passageway here, past more food outlets, all here within the arches underneath the railway line above. And you'll need to go at the speed of everyone else going in front of you, because as you can see, it's very narrow. Now, because if you look at this and you think, cool, this is quite narrow, I can't be faff to go down there. And also you're walking away from the area where the canal is and all the other street food, then a lot of people miss out on this particular area, which is another undercover market, which opens up underneath the arches. For me, with the Middle Eastern flavor, this is probably my favorite area of the market. There's just something mesmerizing about the vibrant colors down here. Here we're entering the horse tunnel market. And this, as I said, because it's away from the main part, actually it's a lot quieter and easier to get around. Plus there's quite a selection of things to look at in here as well. You certainly get that feeling of space. Now in here, I particularly liked it because it had an eclectic mix of different types of things from socks to all sorts of hats. And actually I noticed as we went round Camden, hats are definitely back in fashion and lots of people trying those on. And this was a brilliant place to stop and browse at, all different types of posters as well. Now I'm a particular Banksy fan and I found one or two in there. If you're looking for vintage clothing, also Camden Market is definitely your place. There are so many different places and different little stores that you can go to with all different types of clothes, which might just suit the style that you're looking for. Now here's a question for you. You've seen all the different stores. What's missing? If you had the money, what would you come down here, hire a stall and set up and sell here? Now that'd be interesting to see in the comments down below. As we go to sketches and music of different musical artists, we then go to a t-shirt area and look whose fingers pointing at one he saw. Yes, Jaden loved the vinyl one. For me, the indoor markets are fantastic because you never know what London weather's gonna do. If you're outside and looking at the outside arts and crafty bits and it's a rainy day, it doesn't make it particularly great to look at. But coming in here, well, it doesn't matter what the weather's throwing at you. You can come in here all year round and enjoy and keep away from the elements. Now we're going to go deeper and deeper into Camden Market and go towards the catacombs next. And have we got a thing for you here? If you've got an Instagram account and you really want to be seen on that, here comes something for you. If you follow any of the top London sites on Instagram, and don't forget, London Visited is also on Instagram with its photos, um, then you will definitely recognize these umbrellas because it's in so many Instagram photos of London. And yes, it's here at Camden Market. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to get down here and have your photo taken underneath these umbrellas. Now this is an area of Camden Market that they call the catacombs. And you can sort of see why, can't you, with the very narrow passageways and all of the different uh, retail stores in the arches underneath that you can go and explore. Now, as we leave the catacombs area, we come out in the stable area. And this has got a great selection of places, once again, where you can eat. So you can eat, do a load of shopping, eat again, maybe stop for a cup of coffee, or alternatively around here as well, you can get some really nice ice cream. And 
And one thing I can promise when I do come back here, I'm coming to this coffee warehouse. Now there's a gathering of people ahead and the reason for that is there's a statue, a life-size statue of Amy Winehouse here at Camden Market so you can have your photo taken with her and you don't realise until you stand by the side of her how small she was. Here we're in the stables and when we were filming they had this here from Peaky Blinders. And the reason for that is there's an immersive experience opening this summer at Camden at the Camden Garrison, the same place as the real life gangster Alfred Solomon all about Peaky Blinders. Now in this part of the market is the original place where the Pickford Stables, which was grade two listed was, and it was a horse hospital, which served the horses pulling Pickford's distribution vans and barges along the canal. And you really have got a selection of retailers, including an old fashioned gentleman's barbers. Camden is renowned for its fashion for different types of alternative subcultures, such as goths and cyber goths. Here, Cyberdog is definitely one of those places which houses and caters for cyber style fashion. As you can see from our tour, there is so much to do and see here at Camden, so you really can spend as much time as you like here. Alternatively, you can do it in several trips, but if you're coming to London on a Saturday, it's definitely one of those markets you want to head for, and it's extremely famous, and you certainly want to grab some photos as well whilst you're here. So you've had a good view of Camden Market. What was your favorite type of thing that you'd be buying if you were down here in Camden Market? And also, what sort of foodstuffs would you have? Let us know down in the comments down below. It'd be great to see. Camden is always associated with one of those great things to do at the weekend. And when the weather's lovely like this, it makes it even more attractive. But another great thing to do on a Saturday is definitely visit the London's biggest and also the UK's biggest antiques market over at the Portobello Road. And we've done a video on that for you and that's up in the top right hand corner and certainly another place you're not going to want to miss on a Saturday. So if you click on the link on there, I'll see you in that video very shortly.